Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature, so enjoy. The Angels, the Gods, the Elohim, Fact or Fiction. In 70 AD, Jerusalem was lost. Its ashes returned to the soil that gave birth to the holiest city on earth an eternity ago. The end of the world was nigh, just as the omens of impending doom had foretold. For months, strange portents had petrified the high priest. A sword-shaped star hung over the great Jewish temple across Israel. Chariots cavorted past the setting sun, and armed battalions hurtled through the clouds. God is gold, a quest for the lost temple treasures of Jerusalem. Unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, in the Bible and secular history. The Jew of Rome, Joseph ben Matthias, Titus Flavius Josephus, Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Wonders in the sky, unexplained aerial objects, from antiquity to modern times. May 21, 70 AD, Jerusalem, flying chariots surround the city. Flavius Josephus writes, on the 1 and 20th day of the month, or to Messias, a certain prodigious and incredible phenomena appeared. I suppose the account of it would seem to be a fable, were it not related by those that saw it, and were not the events that followed it of so considerable a nature as to deserve such signals. For, before sun setting, chariots and troops of soldiers in their armor were seen running about among the clouds in surrounding cities. In 70 AD in the skies over Jerusalem, on the eve of its destruction, the activity of unidentified aerial phenomena was disturbing to its citizens. And after the destruction of Jerusalem and the captivity and exile of the Judean population, Discussions were still held about the nature of this terrestrial world and the celestial world above. Intertextuality in the tales of Rabbi Naaman, Bratzlav, Marianne Schleicher, page 200. You can read the notes where there's a quote from Rabbi Abba, who was a second century rabbi, concerning angels. Then he prepared for the throne, he in this context is the Most High. Then he prepared for the throne angelic hierarchies to serve him. And these are names in Hebrew of the different angels, Malachim, angels, Erelim, Seraphim, Heal, living beings, Ophanim, Ashalim, Elam, Elohim, Bene, sons of Elohim, Aishim. Supernal men, to these he appointed as ministers, Samuel and all his group. These are like clouds to ride upon when he descends to earth. They're like horses, but the clouds are called chariots is expressed in the words, Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. Isaiah chapter 19 verse 1. This is a quote by Rabbi Abba, who was a second century rabbi. He, the Most High, prepared the angels to serve him. These are like clouds to ride upon when he descends to earth. Angels are called clouds. 
They are like horses that the clouds are called chariots. Angels are called clouds, horses, and chariots when they descend to the earth. Rabbi Abba continues, Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud that shall come into Egypt. Isaiah chapter 19 verse 1. The expression rideth upon like in vehicle is used. But not all the inhabitants of Judea hold the same opinions concerning these ideas in the matter of angels, clouds, and chariots. It was clear that some did not believe. The Sadducees, Acts 23, verse 8, King James Version. The Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, neither angel nor spirit, but that the Pharisees confess both. The Sadducees. The Sadducees were a socio-religious sect of Jewish people who were active in Judea during the Second Temple period from the 2nd century BCE through the destruction of the Temple in 70 CE. The Sadducees are often compared to other contemporaneous sects, including the Pharisees and the Essenes. Joseph is writing at the end of the first century CE, associates the sect with the upper social and economic echelon of Judean society. As a whole, they fulfilled various political, social, and religious roles, including maintaining the temple in Jerusalem. The group became extinct sometime after the destruction of Herod's temple in Jerusalem in 70 CE. Ideology, social class, aristocracy. The Sadducees rejected the notion of spirits or angels. But Josephus was an Essene at least for three years of his life. Now, my father Matthias was not only eminent on account of his mobility, but had a higher commendation on account of his righteousness. He was in great reputation in Jerusalem, the greatest city we had. I was myself brought up with my brother, whose name was Matthias, but he was my own brother, by both father and mother, and I made mighty proficiency the improvements of my learning, and appear to have both a great memory and understanding. Moreover, when I was a child, about 14 years of age, I was commended by all for the love I had to learning, on which account the high priest and principal men of the city came then frequently to me together in order to know my opinion about the accurate understanding of points of the law. When I was about 16 years old, had in mind to make trial of the several sects that were among us. These sects are three. The first is that of the Pharisees, the second that of the Sadducees, and the third that of the Essenes. As we have frequently told you, for I thought that by this means I might choose the best if I were once acquainted with them all. So I contented myself with hard fear and underwent great difficulties and went through them all. Nor did I content myself with these trials only. But when I was informed that one whose name was Banis lived in the desert and used no other clothing than grew upon trees and had no other food than what grew of its own accord, and bathe himself in cold water frequently, both by night and by day, in order to preserve his chastity. I imitated him in those things and continued with him three years. Asians, the Asians, were a mystic Jewish sect during the Second Temple period that flourished 
from the 2nd century BCE to the 1st century CE. The Jewish historian Josephus records that the Essenes existed in large numbers. Thousands lived throughout Roman Judea. They were fewer in number than the Pharisees and the Sadducees, the other two major sects at the time. The Essenes lived in various cities, but congregated in communal life, dedicated to voluntary poverty, daily immersions, and asceticism. Their priestly class practiced celibacy. Most scholars claim they seceded from the Zodokite priest. St. Paul, the Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, wrote an epistle to the saints in the city of Corinth. What a cloud that followed the Israelites and Moses out of Egypt through the Red Sea and in the wilderness. 1 Corinthians 10th chapter, King James Version. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ under a cloud Unidentified aerial phenomena. Nor can we forget the ascent of the Messiah into a cloud in the presence of his eleven apostles in the promise of his return to the earth in the same way. The book of Acts. Chapter 1, verse 8 to 11, King James Version. And ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and into the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up in a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up unto heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner, as ye have seen him go into heaven. Now, let's look at a few more historical examples of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP. Circa 343 BC, near Sicily, Italy, a blazing light. And Diodorus Siculus, first century text, Historical Library, Book 16, 24 to 5. We read that the voyage of Timo Leon from Corinth to Sicily was guided by one or more blazing lights, referred to as Lampus. Heaven came to the support of his venture and foretold his coming, fame, and the glory of his achievements for all through the night. He was preceded by a torch blazing in the sky up to the moment when the squadron made harbor in Italy. Second August 216 BC, Cani, Apulia, Italy, round objects, white figures. During the famous battle won by Hannibal and Cani, second August 216 BC, in the Apulian plain near Barletta, which saw the largest defeat in the history of Rome, a mysterious phenomenon was observed. On the day of the battle in the sky of the Apulia, round objects in the shape of ships were seen, the 
tragedies carried on all night long on the edge of such objects were seeing men dressed in white like clergymen around a plow. 235, Wina, China. A red object flies above the emperor's army. The army of Emperor Hao Chu saw a red object with pointed rays that flew over them three times. After the flood, the children of Noah repopulated the earth from a catastrophic event. How else can you explain the star maps in the caves of prehistoric man? Lasco Cave Paintings, France Taurus Constellation, Uranus Mera Mankind use of advanced technology in ancient times is secular proof of a pre-flood civilization and signs of a biblical global flood.